am now back on the other side. It's taken me a grand 12 minutes to get from over there to over here um, using only the designated pedestrian crossings. The nearest one on this side is quite a long way down and the other one I showed you earlier is, um, you can probably not see it behind those lorries. Sorry for that. Um, so the reason we don't have a pedestrian crossing directly here at Wellington Road is because supposedly in order to build in a pedestrian crossing you would have to broaden the pavements and um, or knock down and, and that would involve knocking down one of the buildings. Obviously, you know, uh, you could also think about if you can maybe narrow the street actually in, uh, as an alternative rather than more people crossing here and hopefully no one turns left. Um, so it is a per persistent danger for um, pedestrians to cross over here and um, I think it really needs dressing because it's not good enough that basically in order to cross this road safely you have to put yourself into a metal box um, and I, I do not blame anyone who takes the car to cross this road because I personally feel really, really uncomfortable crossing this, but I'm an adult and I currently don't have my kids with me, but I'm still not going to cross this road right now. I'm going to go up there to the next set of traffic lights for pedestrians, which is another, I don't know, 150 meters easily, 200 meters. So yes. But Liverpool City Council, um, maybe do think about what you want to emphasize. If you want to keep emphasizing cars and getting cars as quickly as possible through the city or if you want to make active travel a real priority if you want to make it a real priority then make it safe for people to walk and cycle thank you very much